All right, this is grade six, unit three, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to be kind of playing with units of measurement and using that as the kind of the context for an entryway towards understanding ratios and proportions, um, <clears throat> mostly ratios. <clears throat> but this lesson, lesson two, is really kind of an optional lesson because it just helps students uh, anchor themselves in terms of what these various units of measure are uh, because you know quite honestly the students well the uh, student uh, people in the United States are generally not very good at estimating various types of measurements especially the metric system when we start talking about uh, milliliters or grams or um, kilograms or kilometers. So those things, uh, you know, measurements, uh, we're pretty bad at estimating. And so this unit is an optional lesson that kind of gets students familiar with units of measurement. And so uh, I'm going to kind of breeze through this. Uh, first, we're going to begin by estimating the volume of this tiny little shaker right here. So the question is, what are we what are we doing? Are we using uh, some sort of volume, uh, uh, cubic centimeters or ounces, or you know, or are we using? Um, are we talking about like liquid? Like I know it says volume in the directions, but students, man, there's they're so um, fresh with not really understanding a whole lot of units of measurement and 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 having uh, connecting things to like like two liter bottle so we know a two liter bottle and we know what that looks like but beyond that like what does um 500 milliliters look like well, how do you connect and relate like 500 milliliters to a two liter bottle that kind of a thing and so this warm-up is really low stakes it's just to open the door to a conversation so uh, allow students to have that kind of conversation. And then when we move down to cutting the string, this is again, uh, remember this is an optional lesson, but in this lesson, uh, parents and teachers, you are going to assign various lengths and tell students to um, cut a piece of string at that length. That's kind of a fun activity and really, uh, a neat idea might be, and I don't know if this would, would work, but uh, ask the entire class, the whole class, to estimate a one meter, say, let's say, estimate a one meter length of string. So have the entire group, the whole class, everybody is coming up with their estimation of a one meter length. I'll bet you anything. If you graph all their actual lengths on a line graph, I'll bet you anything it's going to be a bell. It'll be a bell where the one meter is somewhere around here, you know, and then these measurements are way bigger than a meter. And then way down here is way shorter than a meter. And, you know, I, I'll bet you anything that uh, your, your resulting data will be something really close to um, a bell curve. Anyway, uh, moving on. Activity three, card sort measurements. Okay, now on this one, uh, let's see. Students are uh, going to, you're going to give the students these cut up cards. Uh, so you're going to cut up all of these cards. You're going to cut up all of these cards. And the idea is it's a card sort. So students are going to match uh, these real life uh, examples with their units of measure all right so that's that's what that activity is i'm not going to walk you through that because that's that's i don't want to steal the joy because that's kind of fun so sort the units into groups based on um the attributes that they measure all right and then um there's other things that you're you're going to be asked to do like it says then match each picture that has an L with the closest unit. You're gonna match each picture with a V with the closest unit. So you get the idea. It's just march through this uh, card sort activity. It's, it's designed to just introduce students to the idea of units of measure. And, and that wraps up the in-class activity. So really, I'm gonna to get to focus mostly on the practice problems which I would assume, you know, since the lesson itself was uh, optional, then this act, this problem set is also uh, optional. 
so I'm gonna not gonna do every single question here. <clears throat> the length of the pencil. Okay, so select the unit from the list that you would use to measure each object. And we're gonna have choices, aren't we? So the length of the pencil. Well, we could definitely uh, measure it in inches, couldn't we? So I'm gonna put six or inches. We could do that in inches, but heck, you could also measure, um, um, I'm looking for millimeters or centimeters. You could measure the length of the pencil in centimeters or millimeters, really. I mean, those are all reasonable units of measure to measure a pencil. Uh, enter the weight, the weight or mass of a pencil. Okay, so now we're not talking cups or feet or gallons. Now we're talking about the the weight and so now we're starting to talk about things like possibilities of like kilograms but that's heavy stuff like that's that's heavy uh we could talk about ounces of a pencil you know pencil might might weigh ounces probably not pounds i mean we could use pounds but probably a more reasonable definitely not tons we could use tons because tons weighs things um, but I think I'm gonna go with ounces on this one so I'm gonna say 14 and just say ounces all right and you get the idea we're just gonna march through this whole thing and connecting each of these things <laughs> this is gross <laughs> weight or mass of a fingernail clipping I just saw that that is just revolting all right so anyway good go uh, when this pet hamster is placed on a digital scale the scale reads 1.5 so we got the this little guy he's put on a scale it says 1.5 what are the units 1.5 what could it be 1.5 ounces could it be 1.5 pounds could it be 1.5 tons you get the idea could it be 1.5 kilograms all right so i'm gonna guess probably maybe ounces maybe probably all right and then number three, circle the larger unit of measure. Meter or a kilometer? Kilometer. Uh, yard or foot? Ooh, oh, yard. Uh, cup or quart? I'm going with quart. I think there's like two cups in a quart or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> a pound or an ounce? Definitely pound. Liter or milliliter? Well, that's the whole point of the metric system. Milla means small. Really, really small. A thousand milliliters in a liter and same thing here a gram a kilogram a kilo that's that's that also means a thousand but it means we have a thousand grams in a kilogram um there there you go so elena mixes five cups of apple juice with two cups of sparkling water to make uh, sparkling apple juice for a party she wants to make 35 cups okay so we oh this is a review question isn't it uh how much ingredients should elena use so all right so that's oh this is cool we get this one so we've got apple juice apple juice and we've got sparkling water and the ratio is five to two so i'm going to draw one two three four five and then i've got two units down here and for a party she wants to make 35 cups of juice sparkling juice all right so there we go and we know that we have seven units and these seven units is equal to the 35 so that means each unit is five represents a five and so i can just insert into each of these units five 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 and five and then the question is how much of each ingredient should she use well we can see that she needs 25 ounce uh, 25 cups of apple juice and she needs 10 cups of uh, sparkling water and then moving we're getting there uh, number five lynn bought three hats for 22 dollars and 50 cents at this rate how many hats could she buy with 60 bucks? And if you get stuck, use a table. I'm always going to use a table because I love using tables, especially because these tables lead perfectly into the kind of math we're going to be doing in seventh grade with proportions. So uh, I'm going to put it in a table, three hats, $22.50. And I need to figure out how many hats can she buy 
with $60. So what I need to do is figure out somehow, how are we going to figure out how much she could buy with $60? Well, I think what I'm going to do is figure out the cost of one hat. So the, to figure out the cost of one hat is I'm going to divide that ratio by three. I'm going to scale down that ratio by three and I end up with one hat is going to be $7.50. And now that I know that one hat is $7.50, I need to figure out how many $7.50 fit into $60. All right, so I'm gonna do 60 divided by 7.5, and uh, I can convert that to 600 divided by 75, and then I can divide, and I can see, let's see, I could divide both of those by uh, 25. I could reduce by 25. I'm trying to do this in my head real quick. Oh, no. I Easy, easy. 75. 75 uh, twice is 150. 75 times 4 is 300, so 8. Oh, so this answer is 8. And so I can buy 8 hats, all right? And then... Our last question, light travels about 180 million, million kilometers in 10 minutes. How far does it travel in one minute? All right, another table. I'm gonna make a table and I've got minutes and I've got kilometers and I'm gonna put 10 minutes is 180 million and I'm just gonna spell it out all the way like that. And, uh, and I want to know how does it, how far does it travel in one minute? So what am I going to do? Well, I need to divide that by 10, divide 10 by 10 to get one. So I'm going to divide this by 10, which is really easy. All we have to do is chop off one of those zeros. So we're going to end up with, instead of six zeros at the end, we're going to have five zero, uh, we're going to have 180. And then at the end, instead of having six zeros, we're going to have five zeros. And so put in our commas and we get 18 million, which makes sense because really all we needed to do is take that 180, chop off a zero and uh, th there we go. And folks, that wraps up grade six, uh, unit three, lesson two. And you know what folks, don't forget to subscribe.